Hi there, welcome back to Hicks at Home. And in your fish boxes this week, we've got some cold smoked sardine fillets. These are from Plymouth and my friend Lewis, his boats uh, catch sardines, anchovies, mackerel, and these have been cold smoked and delicious, delicious. Cold smoked, so these are like mini kippers, I suppose, in a way. Uh, all you need to do is just warm them up in the oven in a little pan. No seasoning required. Just a sort of medium, medium to hot, maybe about 200 or something. I've got some sourdough spelt for cacio, which I made, but you can use anything for cacio. You can use a sourdough or just a nice country loaf. I'm going to toast that. And just very simply, I'm just going to serve it on the toast with some freshly grated horseradish. There's nothing simpler than a nice dish with lightly smoked good fish. And these, uh, these sardines are cured exactly the same way as I cure my salmon, uh, with sea salt and molasses sugar, and then smoked with apple and oak. Now, after that, I'm going to get this on the go as well. We're going to do red mullet. Again, very simply cooked in the oven. And I'm just going to do that with the, my favourite lardo ingredients. Ingredient, even, which is pickled walnuts. So I tend to use these quite often instead of capers. They've got that lovely, sweet flavour to them. And with something like a red mullet, which is... It's not exactly an oily fish, it's not classed as an oily fish, but it does have that lovely, lovely texture to it. So all I'm going to do with the red mullet is lightly score it. I'm going to pop that in the oven. A little bit of oil. So really the smoked sardines only need sort of warming through, so very thin. Pepper, a little bit of sea salt. So you could put this in the oven whilst you're eating your sardine course. So that's that. And the red mullet, it's going to take roughly 10 to 12 minutes in the oven. Now, for the dressing, for the mullet, all I'm going to do is dice up the pickled walnuts. Now, not enough people use pickled walnuts, in my opinion. They're such a old-fashioned sort of delicacy. And I've tried making them myself, virtually impossible. Uh, and yeah, I mean, OPs, they're the only people I know that actually do them and they're very consistent. And what's more, you can use the vinegar that they're pickled in to actually make the dressing. So, the catch is toasted. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil on there. Look at those beauties, they're like little mini kippers. They actually smell a bit like kippers as well. So you can present these however you want them here. I mean, I'm just going to cut those in half. I'm going to lay them on the focaccia. And they're going to 
be great. Plenty of fresh horseradish on top. Now, if you haven't got fresh horseradish, then you could use uh, creamed horseradish, all that dry grated stuff you get in the jars, and you could spread that onto the toast with a little bit of butter or oil, and then just pop your fillets on top. But that is a great uh, starter, or even a snack. You could cut it into little bits and serve it as little appetizers. Now back to the pickled walnuts. So I'm going to use one pickled walnut. Pop it in there. I'm going to use some more of my onions from the garden, which I used the other week. I'm just going to sort of finely chop those. Put those in the dressing. And use chives if you want. It works really well. There you go. A little bit of the pickled walnut juice. Some baked seed oil. It. And you can use this dressing for all sorts of different things. You can put it in a salad, you can dress, I mean, in fact, you could even pop it on here if you want with the smoked sardines. You know, th these things have all sorts of different uses. We do a lovely pheasant escallop at the Fox pub, and it's a breaded, flattened escallop. It's got a fried duck's egg, anchovies. Uh, which I also smoke myself, and I put pickled walnuts on top. So it's like a classic Holstein garnish, but with uh, pickled walnuts instead of capers. So that's coming on nicely. For me, red mullet is such a lovely, luxurious fish, and it's got all these nice sort of natural, oily... There's something about the skin on a red mullet that really does have such a lovely sort of red, oily kind of flavour and texture to it. And again, cooking it on the bone like that, I think you really get the maximum flavour out of it. So, a couple more minutes on that. Another swig of beer. Now, wine-wise, with the red mullet, I would suggest, because it's quite an oily-ish texture, uh, I would probably suggest, I mean, our Devon Minnow, which actually is produced just, just down the road in Devon by Rob Corbett at Castlewood, is a perfect uh, kind of wine to go with that. Or you could even go slightly extreme and do something from Germany, maybe a Gewürz Tramonel or something, or one of the Alsace wines. Uh, so it, it will take some unusual flavours uh, when it comes to wine and I think any of those things will be a really good match. So I'm just gonna, can you see that lovely red oiliness that's coming out of the skin? is simply pop the dressing on top. Very simple. And 
perfect flavours to match. Good. See you next time.